hello there everybody welcome to my channel so today we are making an a-line dress with buttons in front this is the fabric uh, that i'll be using today so i'll be putting my fabric uh this way today uh the the wrong side out or the inside out so that you can be able to see what i'll be drafting uh on the fabric so i will start by drafting the bodies of the dress and then i'll go on and draft the skirt okay here we go now so i'll start by putting down my shoulder to waist measurement so the measurement is 40 centimeters but i'll make it 42 centimeters uh for seam allowance so you just put your tape measure from your shoulder down to your waist and then you go on and draw the line to represent your waistline okay and now we're moving on to bust line. So you take a tape measure, put it on your shoulder down to the fullest part of your bust. And then you go on and draw that horizontal line to represent your bust line. And now we are moving on to upper bust line. You do the same thing again. You put a tape measure on your shoulder and then down to your upper bust. It is usually where the bra straps uh, begin, okay? Just before your bust begin, okay? That is where it is your upper bust there. Then you go on and throw your line. Okay, here now we are moving on to the armhole. So here you start by measuring your shoulder to shoulder measurement, okay? And then after that, you go on and half the measurement so that you can be able to put it down here. So my shoulder to shoulder measurement is 32 centimeters and then I half it and it is 16 uh, centimeters and I put it down here. And then after that, I go on and make my shoulder slant. Okay, so my shoulder slant will be about three centimeters. So you can find out this by uh, dividing your half the measurement by five or you can uh divide your full measurement your 32 centimeters by 10 okay so that is how you get that uh how much you must land your shoulder okay and then i'll go on and uh, uh, draw a line there now to represent my shoulder after that, I go on and draw a line from the shoulder down to the upper bust. So as I draw the line, I also mark the midpoint of the line. And now we move on to upper bust line to put quarter of my bust circumference. Okay, you can add a centimeter or two here for of seam allowance. And then I go down uh, to the waistline to put the quarter of my waist circumference. And then you can, uh, so here I will also add uh, uh, two centimeters for the dart. And then you can also add a centimeter or two for seam allowance. Let's quickly do the neckline before we go on and finish up the armhole. So I will make the width of the neckline 8 centimeters, and then I will make the length of the neckline 4 centimeters. Now let's come back and finish up the armhole. So I'll go to the midpoint and then and measure a centimeter in and then i'll go on and draw my armhole so the armhole begins from the shoulder and then it goes uh to the midpoint it touches the midpoint there and then it goes down to the upper bust where there is uh, my bust measurement okay And now we move on and create some dots. So what you do here, you measure your nipple to nipple measurement. Mine is 20 centimeters and then you half it. So mine, it is 10 centimeters there. What I'm putting here now is 10 centimeters. So you put the 10 centimeters both on your bust line down to your waistline. Okay. And then after that, you go on and connect the two dots so that you can be able to create the dots. Okay, now I'll go down from the bust line by three centimeters. So I'll go on and make it a three centimeter mark there. And then I'll go down on the waistline. Uh, I will make uh, a centimeter 
on both sides of the of the line the centimeter the uh, the both side of the line and then i'll go on and draw my uh my dot and then i'll go on and connect my bodies from my upper bust down to the waist Okay, now so we have the bodies. So this will be our back bodies. So what I'll do now is that I'll go on and trace it to make uh, my front bodies. Okay, so here on the center front of the front bodies, I'll be leaving about 2.5 centimeters for my button stand. And then later on, and I'll go on and make more changes on the front bodies. Okay, now let us make more changes on the front body. So I'll start with the neckline. So I'll put my tape measure right here on the corner of the shoulder here. And then I'll pull my tape measure down to 22 centimeters. Here, as you see me, I've pulled it down to 16 centimeters. But later on, I went on and, and, and cut it open because the neckline was still too high. So in the end, uh, I made it to 22 centimeters. Okay. And now we are moving on to the armhole. So I'll start by marking the midpoint of the armhole and then I'll go on and recreate uh, the armhole of my front bodies. Okay. And now we move on to the darts. So I'll start by uh, marking the bust line and then after that I'll go on and put the nipple to nipple measurement as I did with the with the back bodies. But now in this uh, this time, I need to make sure that I put the measurement after the 2.5 centimeter button stand. Mm -hmm. So from the center front, I need to measure and clear the 2.5 centimeter button stand, and then after that, I can measure the 10 centimeter for for the dart. And also remember to transfer the dart to the other side of the bodies. There must be two darts in front and two darts at the back. And now it is time to make the facing for the neckline. Okay, so this is the fabric. I uh, will be just a scrap fabric. So I'll just use it to make uh, uh, the facing for the neckline. So what I'll do is that I'll just put the bodice like this and then I'll just go on and trace it uh, to make my facing. And then I make the width of the facing four centimeters, uh, which is uh, a few centimeters more than the button stand. Okay. I will do the same thing with the with the back neckline. Okay, now so we are moving on to the skirt part of the dress. So what I'm doing now is that I'm marking the length of the dress from waist down to where I want the length of the dress to be, and then I go on and mark the hip line from waist down to the pointy part of my hips so that I can be able to put my hip measurement there. 
so after that i'll go on and put my waist measurement a waist circumference quarter of my waist circumference and then i go on and put a quarter of my hip circumference plus the ease around the hips and then seam allowance and then i go on and connect the dots from the waist to the hip line down to the length uh, of the dress Okay, now I'll go on and use the back part of the skirt, which I've just created to make the front part of the skirt. So as you can see that uh, um, this part, front part as well, I am leaving that 2.5 centimeter button stand there because my buttons will go down uh, the skirt. Okay. And now I'll go on and cut out the sleeves using a sleeve pattern that I already have. And then we move on to the facing. So I'll go on and attach the facing. And now it is time to put the bodies together. So I have the back and then the two front pieces. So what I'll do is that I'll go on and put together the pieces. I'll just stitch the shoulders. And next we go on and attach the sleeves. Now the sleeves are attached, so the next thing is to go on and close the body's side seams. Okay, now we are moving on to the skirt. So we have our skirt pieces here. So as you can see that the front pieces I have attached facing there just like I did with the bodies. So this is the area where I'll be attaching uh, the buttons. So now I'll just go on and just join the side seams of my skirt. Okay, now, so the skirt is one piece. So before we go on and attach the bodies and the skirt, so what I'll do, I'll, just, I'll go on and make uh, the darts uh, on the skirt. So I've already made our darts on the bodies. The bodies is nice and fitting, so we need to make the skirt the same. So what I usually do is that I usually start by connecting the side seams of both the bodies and the skirt. And then whatever material is left after connecting uh, the, the side seams, I just divide it uh, to make two equal dots. Okay, so I'm currently working with the back now. So as you can see, there's the extra material that I need to make the dots. So I will just make my, da my dots to, to match the dots of the bodies. And then we move on to the front. So we need, we also need to make uh, some dots here in front as well. So as you can see that the skirt is a bit extra here. So I just need to bring it in a little bit, just like this. And then uh, I match the front dot here as well, uh, just like this. And then I will do the same on the other side of the front. Remember there are two dots at the back and then uh, two dots are uh, in front. Okay. 
And now I'll go on and arrange the darts uh, and make sure that everything fits nicely, the bodies and the skirt. Uh, the dots are uh, match and fit nicely and then after that I'll go on and make uh, the dots And now the dots are done, so I move on and stitch the bodies and the skirt together. And now it is time for the buttons. So I went on and fit the dress so that I could see where and how I want my buttons uh, to sit. So I made marks uh, on where, on the areas where I want the button to, to start uh, and where I want it to end, especially there on the bodies. Now I'll go on and make a, a formal arrangement, uh, kind of measure the space in between the buttons uh, and so on. I am now measuring my buttons to make my button holes. So this is how I mark or I measure my, my buttons for the button holes. I just I mark the start of the button and the end of the button just like that. And then I go on and connect the two marks so that I can be able to make my button hole. It is now time to attach the buttons. So I am attaching my buttons by hand. So I started attaching here at the bottom because I wanted this seam here at the bottom to match nicely as I attach uh, my buttons. <music> 